What's up, everybody? You're in a hood. It's a deporter. And uh, as a WWE wrestling figure collector, this is a pretty exciting week for me. Excuse me. Excuse me again. It is San Diego Comic Con 2020 week. And I, as a matter of fact, San Diego Comic Con is tomorrow. 3 p.m. Eastern time, so 2 o'clock my time. Whole not load of reveals will be happening. Um, Elite 78 and 79, and I think three Masters of the Universe, which I don't really care about Masters of the Universe at all. So for me, it was Elite 78. And Elite 79, all except for like one figure, got released. And uh, I'm here to do my list of who I want to see. Um, yeah, of who I want to see as a um, who I want to see. As a um oh uh, revealed at San did Diego really Comic Con. Yes, I did. At San Diego Comic Con. The first one, um, we kind of know we're going to be getting it, but it is an Adam Cole basic. Now, Adam Cole, here. This is the reason that I want it. Is because Adam. Cole is a figure that I really want, but he only has an elite figure, and it goes for like 30, 20, 30 bucks online, you know, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, even sometimes 60 bucks online, so I'm like, I'm not paying that expensive money. I'm not paying expensive money like that for Adam Cole. Same with goes with Roderick Strong. He has, and I want a Roderick Strong uh, basic. He has an elite figure, but it's like 40, 50, 60, sometimes even like 80 to $100. Or not. It's ridiculous. And, uh, it's, it's ridiculous. There's no, there's zero need for, you know. But, I will say this. For the Adam Cole and for the Bobby Fish Elite that just got revealed today, I do want the accessories that come with it. I want, and for the right strongly, I want the Undisputed Air shirt, and then with the Fish, with the Bobby Fish Elite, possibly the Kyle O'Reilly Elite, if that gets revealed, and the Adam Cole Elite, I want the tag titles, and the uh, North American Championship. But, uh, Kyle O'Reilly Elite hasn't been revealed yet. Oh, my bad. So, I mean, I, I guess I'll just have to, uh, just buy the accessories. And then just have the figure. And then just get the basic figure. But, uh, next is a Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly 2-pack. Basic 2-pack. No, be 2-pack. Or battle pack. 2-pack. Whatever. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly. Bobby Fish just got an elite. Kyle O'Reilly just got, um, no figure. He only has the uh, epic moment. So, he's he's in for, for but I don't want to pay the elite Bobby Fish price. So, get Bobby Fish, get Kyle O'Reilly. Two pack, it's cheap. Not cheap, but like, inexpensive. And... You get two figures at one time. Um, 
Because I'm definitely not paying 60 bucks for Adam Cole, Bobby Fish, and Kyle Riley. It's not happening. Next. Um, it don't matter how they come. I would I would like all basics for every last one of these. Because like I said, I mean I know from one of the figures we're gonna be getting a lead of, unfortunately. Because I really want the figure. But oh well. But anyway, it's Imperium. Now, Walter is probably going to be an elite coming with his entrance jacket and the UK champion. But when it comes to um, Alexander Wolf, Berthel, and uh, Fabian Aitner. Marcel Bertha and Fabian Aitner. There's no need for an elite. What are they going to come with? I mean, I guess they could come with the Imperium jacket. But, I mean, whatever. Um, next is Angel Garza and Austin Theory. Now, I don't see why this couldn't be a two-pack. Um, because they were part of, like, the Vegas, Vegas boys or whatever you want to call that team. My bad. Hold on. Oh well. Um, I mean, or you could do two singular basics. But I mean, I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Um, no need for an elite. Next is Cameron Grimes. Again, no need for an elite. I mean, he would, he ain't got no accessories. This is for most people. I mean, they don't have no accessories. Um, for majority of people. But anyway, uh, Cameron Grimes, you know, I would like to see how they can come up with Cameron Grimes. Honestly, for me, for the face cam, just give him a fix up of the Daniel Bryan face can. Because, I mean, I mean, oh, my bad. I, I don't know. I would say good his actual face can. Because I can say just fix up Daniel Bryan's because they kind of look kind of similar. But no, just go ahead and uh, do an old face can. But anyway, yeah. Cameron Grimes, like I said, no, no need for. No need for an elite, just basic. Um, moving on, Candice LeRae. Candice LeRae, there's no reason why we should not have a Candice LeRae figure yet. Same with the next one, which I'm just gonna reveal it, a Dakota Kai. No reason why we should not have them. They've been in NXT for a long time now, about three years possibly. I don't know, three, two, two, three years. And we still don't have a figure of him. I don't understand. But, I don't know. This is, that's what Mattel gives us. I don't know. But I think it is finally time for um, Candace LeRae and Dakota Kai to emerge in the Mattel line. Damien Priest. Now, Damien Priest could come with an entrance jacket, so that is a picture of my nana and my grandpa, and I think my mom or my, or my aunt. I don't know. But, um, in the back, that's, that's his picture you see. I'm in my nana's room. But, anyways, um, But yeah, Damien Priest could come with an entrance jacket, so I wouldn't be shocked if it was an elite. But if it's a basic, it's gonna be pretty good still. Um, 
I really enjoyed Damien Priest. His match with Finn Balor was amazing. And, uh, that's another one that I forgot to add is a, uh, updated Finn Balor. I'm not gonna talk about it, but, because Finn Balor is, like, one of my favorite part in NXT right now. But, um, anyway, Damien Priest, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, Damien Priest getting a figure is something that should happen. No. And honestly, I think if he does get a figure, it might be a sculpted, maybe, I don't know. This next one, if he does get a figure, it'll definitely be a work in progress. It, I don't think it will be a completed um, sculpt or a completed um, render image even. It's going to be like one of those like work in progress type deals. And it is... Dexter Loomis. Now, Dexter Loomis was someone that I didn't like coming in at NXT, and then I just started recently liking him, and now, now I'm enjoying him along with my next one, which is Dominic Dijakovic. Um, they, they've been in NXT for a little while. I haven't really liked them, and I'm starting to like them now. But, um, yeah, they don't come with any accessories, so basics will do for them. Now, this next one, they got loads of accessories, so no doubt in my mind it'll be an elite for the both of them. It's the War Raiders. Now, it's all render image, but it was a gray sculpt. It wasn't completed image. So, I'm hoping to see the actual completed image of uh, War Raiders tomorrow. Next one is Humberto Carrillo now. Could have an elite with that cape. Or just a basic will do for me. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Humberto, Humberto Carrillo, but, um, you know. Um, but, you, you know, there's people who is. So, I mean, I honestly would just go for a basic figure. Now, now, um, hold on, guys. I'd write something. Now, this next one is the one that, um, that I said is definitely is Io Shirai. Now, Io Shirai is one of my favorites of of uh, NXT. Um, so I'm um, I'm pretty upset that we're gonna have to get an elite and I'm gonna have to pay the price of an elite. But I mean, honestly, don't care. Um, you know, I'm honestly happy that we're getting the figure finally, and uh, so I, I don't care. Basic elite battle pack. It don't matter to me. Next one, the Forgotten Sons. Now, basics will do for me because I'm not a huge fan of the Forgotten Sons. So if we get their figure, I'm gonna buy it. If we don't get their figure, I'm not gonna just be like, oh my God, Mattel failed. That that the line. They forgot the forgotten signs. Yeah, but, 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 but. And that also goes for the next Pippa. two, which is Kaylee Ray and Pippa. Kushida. Now, Pippa. Kaylee Ray and Kushida Pippa. both are pretty good athletes, but I don't, I don't think they'll be. I think if we do get their figure, it will be in a. Uh, in progress section of the of the slideshow, um, along with medium, I don't think we're gonna get a full on work like not work, but like full on colored image. So next, and I know, we're, I know for a fact we're going to get this. It's a basic Nikki Cross. She's going to be a part of basic 
series one, basic series 111, 110, no, 111, I do believe. So, I'm excited because I don't really want her to leave. I just hope her Nikki Cross basic doesn't come with a painted on shirt with the belly button indention. Is number one. I hate the belly button indention. Or, I hope it doesn't come with an electric boy shirt. Hopefully, it's her, her shirt that she comes out in. Um, next, this guy has been on the roster for three years. How have we not gotten a figure? No, I'm dark. Now, I'll be honest, when he first debuted, I'm kind of glad that we didn't get a figure. But now that he has those galaxy-looking pants, we gotta have a figure of no Dar. I mean, he had bland black with, like, white writing. But now that he's got those galaxy shorts or tights or pants, we gotta have a figure of no Dar. And plus, he's been in the business for three years since 2017. I don't remember her debut. Next is Rhea Ripley. Now, unfortunately, I think uh, we are getting to know it. I think when we saw the render image back at one of the other toy fairs, I think it did say Elite Series something. But I'm hoping it. I'm hoping my mind isn't isn't recalling it correctly, and I'm hoping we get an Elite. I mean, not an elite, a basic, I mean, but an elite with the entrance jacket would be great. I wouldn't mind, and this goes with EO, um, and War Raiders, I wouldn't mind paying an elite price to get the entrance hoods and jackets and whatever else. Next is Tegan Knox. Now, again, I'm not a huge fan of Tegan Knox. So, basic figures will do great for Tegan Knox. Um, there's no need for an elite. She really doesn't come out in anything. Maybe a knee brace. But, now this next one. If it gets revealed, I'm going to flip out. I'm going to freak out. I am... My favorite current wrestler is The Fiend. I want all of his merch. Like, not all of his merch. Maybe, like, minus a couple of shirts. But. But, I want. Like, a bunch of The Fiend merch. So, if this next figure gets revealed, I'm a football. And it's Funhouse Break. Now, he's also set to be a part of Series 111 or 110. I can't remember. Same series as Nikki Cross. So, I really hope we get to um, see his figure. And uh, if we do, I'm going to be the first one to be like, <gasps> and like freak out. Alright, the next two figures, if we get. I won't be too surprised or too shocked about. I mean, I'll be like, oh my god, yes. But I won't be like, and if we don't get them, I won't be like, my tail failed. And I only want basics of them. But Tony Storm and Trent Seven. They literally don't need to come with anything. I mean, Tony Storm, maybe the NXT Killing the Champion. But I feel like that could come with the uh, Kaylee Ray figure. Trent Seven. There's no need for an elite with him. Like, what's it going to come with? A towel? Like, no one cares. Now, I know this is already going on 20 minutes. But I do want to talk about the Xavier Woods figure that was revealed today. It has the Austin, not the Xavier Woods, but the Austin Creed interchangeable face. 
like head. And it comes with the up, up, down, down championship. Boy, I never thought in a million freaking years that we'd get the up, up, down, down championship and the face can of Creed, of Austin Creed, which I do believe is his real name. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's his real name. But. I'm not a huge fan of, of the Austin Creed face scan. But the Up Up Down Down Championship, I'm pretty, pretty pumped about. So anyways, if you like this video, want more videos like this video, then hit the like button, try to pop again. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Comment down below what you think of SCCC 2020. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next video. So as always, I love you. Stay safe. And peace.